Hello, I'm Jordan O'Brien, editor of Electrical Review, and today I'm joined by Kaylee Hutchins, editor of Data Center Review. Together, we're going to be speaking with Ignacio Gonzalez, executive director of Industrial Power at Cummings, where its latest product, Center of Force, will be in the spotlight. Welcome, Ignacio. Good afternoon. Let's jump right in. Cummins operates in numerous industries, and the wider Centum lineup of generators can be used in many different industrial applications. But with Centum Force, the brand has directly aimed the product at data centers. Could you elaborate on Cummins' involvement and vision for the data center industry, especially with the introduction of products like Centum Force? Um, Cummins is definitely one of the key players in this industry and the data center industry globally. Uh, we have over 100 years of experience in, in developing solutions in the powering space in industries like data centers, healthcare, what we call mission critical ones, right? Um, hmm. Applications that are extremely demanding. Uh, we have, uh, after all these years of experience, a very large footprint, probably over 30 gigawatts of uh, power that we have deployed. When, uh, when doing that, we, we, we normally have had three main things in our minds. One is what the customers want. So we've tried to be best at customer focus. We've tried to always be innovating when needed. And we have tried to leverage our global footprint, right? Our capability to provide this um, similar experience to customers anywhere in the world, right? This industry, the data center industry, is, is growing uh, extremely fast recently. Yeah. And this is um, the, the need for IT infrastructure is, is, is massive. We all hear things about uh, AI and all these things. So there are a number of challenges in this industry, which are the typical ones that come with this kind of high speed growth, right? Um, things are expanding, expanding globally. When I think about Europe, where I'm based, uh, there were certain hubs in the past. Now it's everywhere where this is growing and is growing fast. Um, mm. This requires also solutions, which sometimes go with challenges, challenges of grid availability or things like that. And at the same time, many of the players in this industry are looking at sustainability, are looking at environmental challenges. And this is where Cummings finds the, the right spaces. All these history, all these capabilities developed through the years. Thank you, Nassio. Um, so the Centum Force promises to make setting up easier thanks to the embedded fire detection and suspension system, fuel tanks and quick connection sockets. Can you tell us more about what makes Centum Force a standout solution for data centers? Yeah, so all those uh, details that you that you mentioned are, are actually making uh, meaningful what we have tried to achieve with this product. But at the end of the day, we, we just have to refer to the kind of, of, of challenges of rapid growth that I mentioned mm -hmm. previously, that those are things that so the industry wants to go very fast. When we think about it, we have to try to provide solutions to all those data center players, which are relatively fast to deploy, easy to deploy, kind of plug and play, not as easy as as buying a new computer, but ideally <laughs> something which is really easy to do, right? Uh, and that is one of the main things. It's, it's being able to provide solutions that have the right engineering, but at the same time are easy to deploy. When we achieve that, we also get things like lower footprint, uh, lower capex, because eventually you will not need concrete or a steel structure or things like that. The time for commissioning, the, kind, the time that is needed to bring the solution into the site is also lower. And at the end of the mm -hmm. day, because the product becomes a little bit more standard, the time or lead time that we have in order to get the product available is also lower, right? That That's, that's what makes this solution uh, bring, uh, let's say, something very positive to those challenges being overcome, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you mentioned it earlier, and I want to bring us back to it, um, sustainability. Uh, it's on the lips of everyone in both the data center and electrical industries. But mm -hmm. how does the Centum Force product fit into this narrative? And how does it align with Cummins' broader goals of innovation and environmental responsibility? Yeah, so when we think about Cummins on a wider basis and what we are doing in that space, we are trying to be um, bringing our current products, our traditional products, into, into a better uh, level in terms of sustainability. That's through efficiency, for example. That's through yep. different fuels. That's through uh, making everything far more e efficient or using alternative fuels. At the same time, we are working on new technologies Fuel cells, hydrogen-based technologies that are coming into lower emission levels and being more environmental friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, with this product, we are actually trying to achieve something that goes also on this kind of bridging approach that the company is having. It's on the one side, we will use products which are the best in terms of efficiency, the best in terms of using alternative fuels, the best engines, internal combustion engines inside. But when we design or develop these concepts, we are also thinking about how we will be doing the same with future technologies in terms of integration and delivering complete solutions. Mm 
Mm-hmm. So like, are you thinking more like biofuels and... Um, def- definitely. For example, yeah. HVO, it's already fully available in all our products. And that's uh, definitely much better in terms of emissions than a traditional diesel product, right? Biofuels can also be part of that. Uh, availability, infrastructure, those are things that could allow it to be happening in some markets or not. But definitely the idea, the concept is exactly what you mentioned, uh, John. Okay. Thank you. Um, so we know the Scent and Force is a brand new product. Um, so we'd just love to hear a bit more about what's next for Scent and Forks uh, and for Cummins. So the, the, the next that is coming for Scent and Force, first is the present, the immediate today. So the product is now available and we want our customers to test it, to see the benefits of going for this concept and this type of product. Mm-hmm. From there, as usual in Cummins, we will hear a lot, the voice of the customer, what, what we got right, which we hope was a big part of it. <laughs> and once that we hear what they are seeing that it is working, we will continue to gradually bring this concept, this way of doing products that are supporting the customers in the industry into mm-hmm. other type of technologies and products and everything. So immediate future, test it, enjoy mm-hmm. it, see the benefits, <laughs> and then we will try to keep bringing additional products under the same type of philosophy. Is it sort of an iterative approach then? It's <laughs> we'll get the feedback and then we'll improve it. <laughs> I, I think I think the, this product is already bringing a lot of what we have accumulated yeah. in all these years. And Definitely. what we want is is to actually just, just take it to the next level, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much uh, for answering those questions thank today, you. Ignacio. And thank you to Cummings for sponsoring this in the Spotlight video interview. You can find out more about the Centum Force launch, uh, which has only just launched, um, on the Electrical Review website. And um, thanks, everyone. Goodbye for now. Thanks, thanks Ignacio. Thanks to you all.